Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, Sacred Geography, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Tuesday, April 4th, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, 2023. Historic snowfall, relentless storm dumps 20 inches on Pocatello area of Idaho. The police are pleading with motorists to stay off the roads. But the big story, flight cancellations at O'Hare. Midway stack up as severe weather and hail pummels Chi-Town. Keep calm. It's severe weather time. baseball size hail falls on East Texas. The nexus of the Schmexus. Look at that baby. Holy mackerel. This happened Sunday night into Monday morning. Several areas like Kilgore and Longview received very large hailstones. And we're tracking a volatile atmosphere and dangerous severe outbreak possible for Iowa. Level four, folks, for high risk for hail, wind, and tornadoes. In the bullseye here, Iowa City, Cedar Rapids, and Monticello. So heads up, this is for Tuesday, April 4th, and into the evening. Tornado, wind, and hail threat for all of the southeast Wisconsin. Three rounds of strong storms are expected Tuesday through Wednesday. So heads up there. Here you can see those severe weather maps. And they are, well, tiny. Holy macaroni. Look how small they are. So Lake Geneva, Jansville, Madison, Johnson Creek, Eagle, Kenosha tomorrow. Hello. And now let's talk about the historic snowfall. Relentless storm dumps 20 inches of snow on Pocatello area. And the police are pleading with motorists to stay off the road. Near whiteout conditions. One of the viewer, our viewers sent this in this morning. And in fact, this is a shot outside in Idaho. So apparently, as of Tuesday afternoon, just 71 inches of snow has fallen in Pocatello this winter. That's 22 inches shy of breaking the all-time snow record set back in 92-93 when 93 inches fell. This winter would move up a notch to fourth snowiest ever, and more snow is in the forecast for Idaho. Severe thunderstorms expected through tonight over parts of the central U.S. Blizzard conditions for the northern plains. North and South Dakota covered in blizzard warnings and watches, as well as portions of Say It Ain't Soda. Yes, Minnesota also under those winter storm watches and warnings and blizzard warnings. As the red flag warnings wind through at least a half a dozen states, it's windy out, folks. And some winter storm conditions could be lingering in the Sierras with more snow on the way. Let's take a look at the system currently. There it is. Whoa, let's pause it. So you can see the heavy snow band as well as a small band of mixture there. That's going to be bombing out through Wednesday and into Thursday with some lingering effects in Minnesota. And you can see Maine will be picking up a little bit of snow. And then for the weekend, looking pretty clear for the U.S. as another system moves into the Pacific Northwest. Let's take a look at the snowfall totals, and we will move them through. Here is your Wednesday totals into Thursday morning. You can see that system is going to continue to dump heavy snow in North Dakota and northern Minnesota, as well as Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire. And snow will be falling in the high elevations of the Rockies as well. Here we are on Friday. Saturday and Sunday, it looks like Friday, there could be snow in the high elevations of the northern Sierras as well as the Cascades. So heads up, it looks like it's going to continue to snow pretty considerably through the spring. Ding, ding. This is the snowfall totals through April 20th. So the west is going to be picking up the most snow. Let's take a look at the ENSO report and the current status and predictions. We've been in a triple dip, La Nina, but it appears, based on the models here, let me find them. There it is. It appears as if ENSO neutral is expected right now to persist through the Northern Hemisphere. I just got a question over at our website, 5.me backslash diamond, where you can ask me anything what happened and why is all this snow in the Sierras? And it's because we've hit the neutral, Enso neutral. We're no longer in triple dip La Nina. We are, in fact, in Enso neutral. And it's expected to persist through the Northern Hemisphere early summer 2023. 
Then the transition to El Nino is favorable by midsummer 2023 with chances of El Nino increasing ever more through the fall. So the shift has begun as a strong quake rattles Panama coast in Boca Chica. No reports of damage, but a good friend of mine who lives in Costa Rica emailed me and said he felt the quake quite well and the trees swayed. M6.3, 71 kilometers south of Boca Chica, Panama. Seven on the shake scale there. And there is that rumbler. No tsunami warning or threat. Another 6.2 in the Philippines. But other than that, no other quakes of note. Oh, what's that? A 5.0 in Tunisia. Sure, a few people felt that rocker. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Nothing spectacular to report on. Everything is puffing and passing normal. We have our eye on Nevado de Ruiz, which had a seismic swarm increase. And seismic recordings continue to detect the ongoing oscillations of the ground surface, indicating elevated movement of magma through the volcanic conduit. Even though it's pussing, puffing at lower levels, that doesn't mean that a big boom couldn't be soon. Space weather news update. The sun is quiet. Nothing much else to report. Active region 3270 is a dud during solar max. So those are the facts. Scientists observed the flattest explosion ever seen in space. And it makes them all look like a disgrace because they have no idea what's going on. Astronomers have observed an explosion 180 million light years away, which challenges our current understanding of explosions in space. It appeared much flatter than ever thought possible. So explosions are almost always expected to be spherical, as the stars themselves are spherical. But this one is the flattest ever seen. I wonder if they would consider it maybe being a different phenomenon that they do not understand, perhaps. The explosion observed was an extremely rare fast blue optical transient, or FBOT, known colloquially, colloquially amongst astronomers as the cow. Only four others have ever been seen, and scientists don't know how they occur, clearly. But this discovery has helped solve part of the puzzle, according to them. Now, according to these amazing scientists, moons of some rogue planets wandering through space without stars may support life, according to a study. Earth-sized moons in close orbits around orphan planets wandering through the universe can be interesting candidates for alien life. And that is a podcast for Rex Bear. Now, this map of volcanoes on Venus is the best ever made. The latest catalog expands the number of previously known Venusian volcanoes by a factor of 50. And it's nifty. Take a look at the map. It makes you wonder how we mapped it so well. All of those triangles, green, dark, light green, dark green, orange, and magenta are volcanoes. I mean, there's thousands of them. It's absolutely crazy. Venus has the most volcanoes in the entire solar system, and this map proves that. So go check it out. All the links will be below if you want to dive into one of the topics. As Finland joins NATO and World War III is gearing up, what are you growing? Well, if you want to know more about preparedness or the history of the Oppenheimer Ranch Project or Leah or even myself, we were just on Bonsai Prepping, a pretty big prepping podcast. They're not on YouTube, but they're on Spreaker, iHeart, Spotify, Google, Deezer, and many other places. And this week, there's a special interview with Leah and I on Bonsai Prepping. So go check it out. It's going to be Wednesday Where's the date? Where's the time? 7 p.m. Eastern on any of these clicks. So we'll link you over to our Twitter where this is located. And you can watch the Bonsai Prepping Podcast tomorrow night.
And that's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give us a thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm. Support the work we do. Go over to 5.me backslash diamond and ask me a question or book some private time one-on-one -on -one with diamond. You can also become a Patreon and watch all of our content commercial free. Be safe. We love you.